Hey yo, what's good with y'all? Welcome back to another video with me and I saying and today kind of a different video It's kind of like a tutorial video on how to make a Roblox G effect with only Roblox studio So simple like all these other youtubers is telling you to like download this app that has like a million buttons that you had you had to know everybody how to gfx it this is it's just simple i'm gonna show you a way more simple way you know what i'm saying basically let's get right into it but first if y'all is new here subscribe like and comment what y'all want to see next turn on that post notification bell on so you can get notified for every banger like this drops you know what i'm saying here first you want to click on create all right when you clicked on create come over here on create a new game create the flat base plate template with nothing on it it's straight gray you know what i'm saying i already have one for my gfx so i'm gonna go ahead and open go ahead and open roblox studio let's get right into it all right so when you get in here uh basically you want to come over here go to your models search up whatever model you want you could go on youtube and search up people make models and stuff you can edit models around but i'm gonna show you if you want to use it on your avatar because that's what i use for my thumbnail i just use my avatar so let me go ahead and delete this and let me show you so first you want to click play right wait for it to load in you know what i'm saying right when it loads in but hold up do y'all see that oh hell no nah. i'm out this bitch after you load in click the drop down on workspace click on your character right click it click cut and then you can click stop you know what i'm saying if y'all didn't get that just replay it all right now you want to right click on workspace and then click paste into and then it's gonna paste your character right there you know what i'm saying and the rest is not that hard i'm telling y'all not it's really not that hard you just need to get the hang of like moving objects around and that's click the drop down menu on your character click whatever you want to edit that's what you have to do on each whatever you want to edit like my upper leg go ahead and click on it and then if you want to rotate it go ahead and click on rotate and just move the lines around and rotate and you can move with if you click move up here these are the main buttons you need select move and rotate scale if you want to make it bigger but i don't use scale i only use it sometimes you know what i'm saying but those are the four main buttons and yeah All right, so y'all wondering how to export. What I usually like to do for my thumbnails, because I'm a Roblox basketball thumbnail maker, I like to go to head, come down to face, and just click backspace, and it deletes the face. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to do that, you can do that too. You know what I'm saying? That's how it looks. And then we're going to come up here, right-click it, then click on export select. After that, you want to go to your folder where you want to save it i have a whole folder meant for it i already saved mine you click save and name it and save i already saved it so i'm gonna close out of this i'm gonna just discard because i already made it now next what you want to do is open 3d viewer and i think it's only for windows 10 i don't know i'm pretty sure but after you get in here you can see like a bumblebee right go ahead click on file open and then open the folder where it's at which is mine mine is in here tutorial part one and wait for it to load you know what i'm saying when you're in here you can zoom in scroll around you know what i'm saying this is my favorite part you can use different types of lighting this, this is this is one of my favorite lighting this is the one i'm going to use for the thumbnail right here this is my gfx not that hard it doesn't take too long after you get the hang of like one or two you're gonna get the hang of it you know what i'm saying all you gotta do is rotate and move around you know what i'm saying and scale if you want to make it big you can test around with the lighting hold on one last thing i almost i almost forgot one last thing click on file export image come up to the top 1280 by 1024 transparency turn that on great if it's on turn it off and then right here it is an important part if you want to move your character around like if you want to see the side of him you have to do that or can't move around so like if you want to see from the side of it on a thumbnail I have to export it like that you know what i'm saying but i'm just gonna use the front of it because and then you click export and then save it to wherever you want to save it you know what i'm saying click save and rename it yeah that's pretty much it hope y'all enjoyed the video this was a simple video it's 
part one of a couple parts how to make a roblox basketball thumbnail or just a roblox thumbnail in general yeah hope y'all enjoy it i'm telling y'all it's that simple you do not need another app to create this all you need is roblox studio and it's straight you know what i'm saying hope y'all enjoyed if y'all is new subscribe come on subscribe i know this helps y'all out click the like button turn on post notification look at the sub count close to 9k subscribe yeah i hope y'all enjoy let's get him on let's go flash on bitch i'm headed for greatness it's so close i could taste it when they see me out in public they so shot they be shaking it's kind of hard to stay patient it's too long i've been waiting Huh. You already know, for them niggas that's hating We gon' knock your screws loose, show you what them blues do We gon' empty out your pockets and bitch take your shoes too Every pocket